Yo, what's going on, y'all boys, man? Y'all already know what time it is, man. We back again with another reaction. Yay! And today, we got a crazy video, bro. I'm talking like, when I say crazy, bro, this is probably, I know I say crazy a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I can probably promise y'all that this is one of the most wildest videos I have ever did a reaction to. But before I get into anything, man, I'm gonna need y'all boys to go crazy yeah! on that like button, man. It literally take five seconds out today. You know what I'm saying? Like, show me, like, like, show me some love, man. Just literally smash the like button. Also, if y'all new to the channel, man, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But remember, the subscribe won't count unless you hit that notification bell. So hit them notifications, man. Turn them on to get notified when your boy posts another banger ski. Also, man, you know we're doing live reactions on Twitch, man. We on Twitch as well. So make sure to hit that first link in the bio and pin down in the comments, man, to show me some love, okay? Just help me help you. I don't got to repeat. I don't got to say too much, man. But look, hey, today's video, we're finna be reacting to. The title of this video is called Cold-Blooded Woman, Angela Simpson Interview. After getting life in prison. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm doing a reaction to a, a, a woman called Angela Simpson. I'm not sure if y'all heard about her, but I heard that she's cold-blooded. And right here, she's finna tell y'all about what she did and why she's in a position, or why she, why she basically got life in prison. She's going to know, and, and the stuff she was saying, I guess was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, Shorty may be from like Old Block 63rd or something. I don't know. Like, Shorty, like Shorty definitely from, she, she, she like that. It's from what I heard, man. You know what I'm saying? So make sure if y'all boys enjoyed this video, man, I smash the like button, comment, and subscribe for your boy. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe to the Twitch, man. Come get live. Come get notified. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this. Yeah! Years and I was with the police and uh, one of our colleagues talked to you once upon a time. Uh, you're very upfront. Pretty much. About talking about this killing. Right. You, you murdered this man. Yes. You tortured him. Of course. There is no ambiguity and there is nothing you want us... Yeah, in court today, you said uh, you're not here to pretend to be remorseful. Of course not. Why would I do that? Mm. Are you remorseful? Not at all. Why? Ooh. Why would I be? Well, I, wh why, why did this man deserve to die? You, you, you claimed he was a snitch. Well, what proof do you have of that? He told me he was a snitch. He told you. On many occasions. But that really doesn't matter. Why did you guys want to kill me? Phoenix wanted to kill me. What's the difference? Everybody has a reason to kill. My reason might not be good to you, but your reason wasn't good to me. So. Okay, now that's wild. She said she killed, or she, she, she did that to him on GTA because he was a snitch. Um, I thought they get the stitches. Incident, can like, you tell me anything about what happened during those three days while you were? Practicing? What do you mean? You know, uh, it's I like took him to my house. Walked him down the street. I don't know why the media acts like the motherfucker couldn't walk. He walked very well. Walked him upstairs, kicked his ass, and killed him. And and again, you, the, your belief is that he was a snitch because he right. told you. Uh, you claimed that uh, that other people had been killed in that same part. You had killed other people. Have you killed other? No, people? I've never killed anyone else. So that was something to talk. About. Right. How do you feel about spending the rest of your life in prison? You know, I got a lot of family in prison, and uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I got many sisters in prison. I can't wait to see them. It's really not that much of a punishment to be sentenced to spend my life with my family. And you, you don't want to talk about your, your past, but your lawyer said that, you know what, they... In, in sentencing you, the judge should bear in mind that you had a really, you had a really right. tough life. I started being hospitalized at 10 years old. I have a mental history from 10 years old until yeah. present, so, yeah. When you say mental history, I mean, do you care that anyone feels sorry for you? Do you want anybody? Feel sorry for me. Yeah, do you, should, should the people who are watching this say because she had a bad child? Of course because not. Because she had, has mental illness? Of course not, no. That we should feel some sympathy for no. you? No. You would not have that? I want no sympathy, no. What, then, then do you care what anybody thinks about no. Angela Simpson and what no. you have done? No, I don't. It's, a, again, your candor at... I've interviewed people who have committed murders before, and usually they sort of prevaricate or they this or that. You're about as direct as it gets. Right. Why is that? It's only fair. I expect you to be the same way. Okay. Uh, do you think that it was fair today? 
it was justice in that courtroom. No, I don't. Why? I should have gotten the death penalty. Do you, did you want the death penalty? No, no. I prefer to spend my life with my sisters, but I, yeah, I do believe that would have been justice. So you deserve. I'm not gonna lie. I would have thought that she would have had the death penalty, like 100. percent Like just off the string measures that she went, I thought they would have gave her like a lethal injection or something. Deserve death penalty, but you're glad that you got what you got right. because you. Right. Right. Uh, when you say your sisters, you're talking about women you know in prison. Right. Okay. And is uh, have you found that uh, uh, th there is some bonding and that you have made friends here that uh, that will be of, of some comfort to you when you're in Most prison? Most definitely, yes. Most definitely, yes. Yeah. What has the experience been like here uh, in this facility? Horrible. Really? Yes, it's terrible. Jail is awful. They don't, um, they have no, well, they, they have no compassion. They don't give us the things we need here. Will be, will prison to you, to the, your understanding? I have certainly hope so, yes. Yeah. Have you done time in prison? No. So you're hoping that it will be a better existence. Yes, for you, right? definitely. You're a young woman, 36 years old. You could be there a long time. Right. Right. But your belief is that you deserve the death penalty. Definitely. Well, I believe God. That's what God says. Unless God is wrong, which I doubt. So. And where would God? Would I would say, like, I have noticed something though, because I honestly took a. Uh, I took upon a class uh, uh, of uh, psychology, of like you know the human brain, get to know how we think, and you know, we we do things. Why why we do things that the way we do? I can honestly say that this girl, uh, her brain is not even like the. It studies to show like not her in particular. Or like killers, people who have done things like, like just very traumatizing. Something changes and they're not normal you know what I'm saying like their their brain scan is not to like a normal human the way they think her brain is like shot you know what I'm saying believe it or not but that's just real life studies that's 100% proof that murderers and, and all types of like crazy their brain scan is not even normal the way they think is not even regular that's, that's why it shows that look it up you think I'm lying that or you just believe I believe eye that eye. right Right. I expected to die for this. Uh, to, what can you? What, what insights can you give us? To my mic is my mic good now? Is it good now? My good. To to you, uh, what would you have the anyone who may hear this interview know about you? There's really nothing. People are going to believe what they want to believe. Judge the way they want to judge, just like I do. So. So be it. What, why did you feel like you were in a position to be the judge and jury in, in Terry Neely's life? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm really not trying to be to, to, to get right. too angry, but I just I want to see. You, you're very, you say, I killed this guy. He deserved right. to die, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's pretty. It's there. You're up right. front. Uh, I want to know uh, if, if uh, you have any concerns about what, you know, what, what put you in that position to do that to them. Yeah. It was just too much. The things he talked about, it was just, it was too much. Do you believe him? I mean, lots of people go around well, claiming I'm a snitch or make themselves... <laughs> really? You don't say? Well, I, I think they, they <laughs> talk about law... I've got, uh, I, I know people come, I've got associations with law enforcement, you know, I, I've got this, I'm, not, if I'm a friend with this... Do you happen to have a list of those people? They name drop, well, Maybe in the circle, but you right. know what I'm saying. Right. People say lots of things to make themselves sort of look. Well, he picked the wrong nigger to say that to. Whoa, he to hold on. About putting so many people. Yeah, she can't be black because she said er at the end of that. There's no way possible you can be black, my my girl. I was chilling with you for a second till you said that. Now we finna back. We no, I don't want no smoke with her. I ain't gonna lie. I don't want no smoke with her. But shorty just hey. I know I ain't tripping. You right. know what I'm saying? She, I, I say this though, yeah, I know it's like it's, it's you know it's like whites and blacks in Mexico, like it's very segregated in jail. She cannot be with the blacks talking like that. They will see this interview and probably go crazy on her for real. Right. People say lots of things to make themselves sort of look. Well, he picked the wrong nigger to say that to. Yeah, if shorty he is to brag about putting so many people in prison. 
uh, you pick the wrong person. And that's what that's what did it to him. That's what that's why. What the bragging? The bragging oh, yeah. about putting people in prison. Right. People you knew. No, no, but I don't know any of them. Okay. Do you believe him? Do you think he really was a snitch? Oops, if he wasn't. Dang! What? Shorty said, oops, if he, like, bro, this girl is crazy, bro. Like, get, like, I'm talking about, I have never heard nothing like this before. Shorty said, oops, if he didn't. Like, I don't know if he was or not. He's, I, hey, what? Nah, this wild, man. That is wild, bro. She gangster. Yes, I, I believe he was. Yeah. yeah. You, uh, do you have family? I do. Yeah. From an adoptive family? or I have four children. You have four children? I Dang. Have four children. Where are they? Okay. El Mirage. What is, uh, how are they doing? Uh, and uh, how is it for you to be separated from them? I, I don't want to talk about my children. Can't do that. Yeah. Is, there, is there a message or what is there a bottom line or a lesson to be learned from the story of Angela Simpson? There's a bottom line to everything. But what, would, what is the bottom line to I, this story? Whatever people want it to be. If I, it, it doesn't what matter do what I say. <laughs> I don't know. In, in, insights. Uh, you got four kids. You don't regret killing this guy. Just imagine, like, if somebody messed with her kids, yeah, that's crazy. I don't regret killing him, no. I regret the fact that my co-defendants found it necessary to uh, divulge so much information to the detectives. I regret that. They were people I really cared about. And uh, I regret that they were near me or around me at any point. And then helped prosecutors. Helped the prosecution, correct. You were and they of those people. definitely because they didn't know they weren't actually with me during any of my crimes, so for them to say that they were to try to get less crimes was, was a little heartbreaking. Emphasis so friends of yours lied to prosecutors and lied to police. Correct. Dropped the dime on you. Correct. They snitched on you. Correct. If you could, would you do to them what uh, you did to Terry? No, I would not. Because you still have some relationship with them, or well, no, but they were. I had a claimed a bond with them at one point, so I, I wouldn't be able to avenge that. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you act completely alone? Yes, well, definitely. So nobody else helped? No, totally alone. Uh, help me understand. Uh, for three, uh, you know, I, I know uh, the crimes of passion or something, and you know, in, in the heat of the moment, uh, but to spend three days driving nails into a guy's head and pulling his teeth out. Right. Why? I found it necessary. Did you find it pleasurable or exciting, or was the was this it's just, just a necessary? Necessary. Right. So this was more like a business-like uh, proposition. You were doing something that you felt need a job that needed to be done. Right. Really. Right. And whatever came into your head, you know, I'm going to drive a nail into his head. Was this just was uh, a, a symptom of what was at hand in that apartment? Right. Yeah. Right. Anything, uh, w your moment. I, I'd like to, because we've got to get run back, and right. I, I want to get what you say on television. And we, again, I'm grateful that you'd be willing to talk to us, and I, I wish you the best under these circumstances. Thank you. What, what would you have the world know? You're a fascinating, you're sort of an interesting character. Because, uh, you know, first of all, women generally don't commit crimes this heinous. Right. Uh, you know, this is usually the domain of men. That's unfortunate. <laughs> you think more women Oh, yeah, equal opportunity, definitely. And I know you're being sort of a, a smart aleck to Slightly me. sarcastic. But, uh, yeah, but seriously, I, I mean, in, in some ways, uh, I've been covering murder and mayhem and covered serial killers to petty shoot them ups and uh, you don't meet many women who commit the kind of uh, calculated long-term murder that you committed with this guy uh, and s you don't meet many people who are willing to say I did it and you know what deal with it right
the way it should be, in my opinion. Are you, but you seem so. You, you, you seem like you're sort of just. I, I, I'm sort of almost self-righteous about. I, I did this and I did. Do you think you did the right thing of by course, killing this guy? Definitely. Other than shooting his mouth off, what else did he do? Do you know? Wow. Ah. That's not. Oh. That's what he. That's what he got done for. Shooting. He's white trash. Somebody had to take it out. That's it. Was there a racial component to it? Oh, there's always a racial component. Okay. And you, what do you mean by that? I'm not going to elaborate on that at all. Okay. But, <laughs> but the, the fact that you're, you're uh, a black woman and he's a white guy, that factored into your killing him? Yeah. I wouldn't kill another black individual. Eh. Would you, if you had that moment to live over again? I'd have kept him alive a week. Dang! Tortured him and killed him. Oh, I had tortured him for a week, yeah, instead of three days. Oh my God, this girl is gangster, man. Shout out to Young Kid Scott for the follow. But dang, man, man I, I like honestly, she said, "You asked him if if you can go back in time, would you not? Would you like redo anything?" She said, "Yeah, I would have tortured him for a week instead of three days." What? This girl is too gangster. Like, I don't even, like, I have never met nobody like this. Like, I want to got, I, she must be on Alcatraz Island or something, bro. Like, for real. There's no way. You got to keep her up because she do not. I mean, she, hey, I'm good. I'm in the, hey, black people, we in the, we, we hey, we good. You know what I'm saying? All, all the other people, y'all got to, y'all got to, got to watch y'all back, my boy, because she coming. She ain't killing another black brother. She ain't killing another black person, sister, whatever. So I'm good. I'll probably, you know what I'm saying, talk my stuff, hit her with a little one-two or whatever, and then go about my way because she ain't go, you know, take my teeth out and go crazy on Hey, everybody out there, y'all probably got to watch y'all back, man. Definitely. So your only regret is that the torture didn't go on any longer. Right, and I regret not killing my other victim. I should have killed him, too. I just didn't have time. I had to go somewhere. And so. What? Okay, I need to stop pausing. This is just wild. <laughs> y'all listen to this. Are y'all listening to this, man? Definitely. So your only regret is that the torture didn't go on any longer. Right, and I regret not killing my other victim. I should have killed him too. I just didn't have time. I had to go somewhere. And tell me who that other victim was. Joseph Van Tress for the armed robbery. Wow. I should have killed him, but I. Her hair is crazy. Will you kill again? If the opportunity arises, I hope so. Okay, let's. We're done. Are you done? Yeah. All right. Thank you, good shit, dude. That's gonna be crazy, isn't it? <laughs> That's gonna be wicked. Make it look good, please. I, oh my god. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, did you hear what she said? Good stuff, man. It's gonna be wicked, man. Make sure I look good. What? Girl, you look like nobody wanna play with. I'm, I'm scared to even watch the day. I'm scared to even watch the, the video. I mean, I'm good. I forgot. I'm black. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. You know, we good. W, w in the chat if you black, you know? <laughs> That's going to be wicked. Make it look good, please. Oh, you're, you're going to put this on, too? That's the, that look, you know, no, no. <laughs> Don't put the ending on. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, I best wishes to you. And, uh, right. right. Ladies, thank you. Thank you. Very real. I can't. I can, honestly can't. Stop me again. This guy is incorrigible. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> in, I'm incorrigible. Right, I'm not He's incorrigible. We're both incorrigible. Right. Best wishes to you. Right, right. Thank you. Let me check for a living. Um, I have a other name. All right. Well. Cold blooded woman Angela Simpson interview after getting life in prison. Proud of murdering a man in a wheelchair for stitching, pulled out his teeth. A Finnish woman who said in jailhouse interviews that she enjoyed torturing in a man in a wheelchair because he was a snitch has been sentenced to life in prison. Judge Paul McCurdy handed down a sentence to Angela Simpson on Tuesday. Shortly after sentencing, Simpson sat down with three TVs, Mike Watkins, to talk about it. During previous television interviews, Simpson said in a calm voice that she lured 46-year-old Terry Neely to her apartment with the promise of sex and drugs on GTA. Once there, 
I mean, once there, Simpson says she beat Neely with the tire iron, pulled out his teeth, and strangled him with a television cable during three days of torture. Simply, Simpson says she also dismembers Neely's body and set it on fire. Neely's remains were found burning in a trash container outside the church on August 5th, 2009. Autopsy results shows a three-inch nail had been driven in. Now, is this not, this is a woman. This is not, no, no, this is a girl. This is a woman. If this is not the, 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 the craziest, most wildest female on this planet, bro, to ever walk this earth, I don't know what else. I have never heard nobody doing anything of this sort, or even being, getting the platform to speak. This girl is wild. Don't mess with her. I bet you she's from Atlanta. Because every time I do a reaction to something, somebody be in Atlanta. I, I would love to find out where this took place, honestly. Yeah, so... <laughs> I don't even know really what to say about that one. Like, that, that is real on the fence. I don't even really know what to say about that one, man. Because Shorty is real life, like, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Like, she's real life cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and it shows... She was real excited to even do this. It was like, oh, make sure I look. I mean, honestly, you got to make the best out of every situation, I feel like. You know, and I feel like she know that she don't have no more, no life outside of the, uh, the, the penitentiary now. So she's just making the best out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, you got to make the best out of your situation. You know, and I feel like that's honestly what she doing because I feel like if she was in there hating herself for what she did or, the, or and it honestly not going to make her situation any better. See, like, I mean, most of my family here anyway, so I'm glad I get to be with my family, you know, so I kind of understand her thought process. And I'm pretty sure that's not what she was thinking at first. With her having four kids, I know it's just a lot because she said, I don't want to talk about my kids. I'm pretty sure that's what really, you know, hurt her and really keep her down is her thinking about her kids. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below. I mean, even after hearing that, you know, she don't kill black people, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all watching this is not all black, you know, but what y'all think, y'all thoughts down below, is this girl not the most gangster girl that y'all have ever heard of in the lifetime that I have lived? I've never heard a girl that's gangster, cold blood or whatever you want to call it. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts down below, man. If y'all want to see more of this, Make sure to smash that like button. Smash that like button and comment and subscribe for your boy. Remember, y'all new to the channel. Turn on post notifications to get notified when your boy posts another banger. Ski, we lit, man. Stay out. Ski.